So I've been using the Autopilot Investment app for a while now, and this video is my honest and unbiased review on the Autopilot Investment app. I'll cover all the main points from key features to risks and considerations. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the Autopilot Investment app. The app is designed to simplify investing, particularly for those who might not have the time to dive deep into the stock market. What sets this app apart is its unique approach to automated investing by allowing you to copy the trades of well-known investors. You can link your brokerage account to the app and essentially mirror the portfolio moves of figures like Warren Buffett or Michael Burry. It's an intriguing concept, especially for anyone who finds the idea of picking stocks on their own a bit daunting. One of the standout features is the app's user-friendly interface. Setting up your account is simple and straightforward, and you can start investing with just a few taps. This convenience is one of the biggest selling points. The app's algorithms do all the heavy lifting, from analyzing market data to making decisions designed to minimize risk. But let's be real. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some cons to consider. For starters, while the app's automated nature is a blessing for some, it might be a curse for others. If you're someone who enjoys being hands-on with your investments, you might find the lack of control frustrating. You're essentially handing over the control to an algorithm, which could be a bit unsettling if you're used to making your own financial decisions. Another potential downside is that the app doesn't support limit orders. This could be a deal-breaker for those who prefer more nuanced control over their trades. Limit orders allow you to specify the price at which you want to buy or sell, offering a layer of protection against market volatility. Without this feature, you're fully at the mercy of the app's decision-making process, which could be a bit risky in a rapidly changing market. A feature worth mentioning is the app's transparent fee structure. Unlike some investment platforms that hit you with hidden fees, Autopilot is pretty upfront about what you'll be paying. This transparency allows you to make more informed decisions about where and how to invest your money. The fees are flat, which could be advantageous if you're looking for predictability in your costs. Transparency doesn't end with fees. The app also allows you to see the holdings of the investors you're copying. This feature is particularly useful if you want to dig into the strategies behind the decisions being made on your behalf. It's not just a black box where your money goes in and hopefully comes out multiplied, you can actually see and understand the moves being made. When it comes to legitimacy, the Autopilot investment app does seem to be legit. It's regulated and has robust security measures in place to protect your funds and personal information. However, as with any investment platform, it's wise to approach with caution and make sure it aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. While the app has garnered some positive reviews for its ease of use and innovative approach, some users have raised concerns about the lack of personalized customer support, which can be a drawback if you run into issues. Others have pointed out that while copying the trades of successful investors sounds great in theory, it doesn't guarantee the same success for you. After all, past performance is not always indicative of future results. While Autopilot's algorithms are designed to minimize risks, they can eliminate them entirely. Market fluctuations and unforeseen events can still impact your portfolio, so it's crucial to go in with your eyes wide open. Overall, the Autopilot investment app offers a convenient, hands-off approach to investing that could be a great fit for those looking to simplify their financial life. Its ability to let you mirror the trades of successful investors is definitely a unique selling point, and the transparent fee structure is a big plus. However, if you're someone who likes to have full control over your investments, you might find more value in some other app. But as always, do consider speaking with a financial advisor before making any decisions. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a super thanks by clicking on this heart icon to help support the channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.